Sometimes a game is so unbelievably dreadful that you can't help but find it enticing, such is the case with Mucha Lucha, Masqueritas of the Lost Code. For context, Mucha Lucha is a licensed game based on a cartoon of the same name. Said cartoon is actually pretty darned good. It's full of life, color, personality, and creativity. It revels in absurdist humor while drawing attention to entertaining and joyful elements of wrestling culture. The video game, though, features none of that. It's a beat-em-up where you move to the right through several linear stages, punching and kicking dudes a bunch. It's completely absent of the variety, style, or spunk of the series. But how's the game design? Well, there's one core principle to the combat. Some enemies can be damaged only with punches, and others can be damaged only with kicks. And well, that's it. Each level contains two or sometimes three enemy types, and you fight all of them the same way. You approach, press either punch or kick, and then keep pressing either punch or kick. The only spice the game offers is the occasional pit to jump over. There's not a difficulty curve here, so much as a difficulty flat line. If you know which of your two moves the enemy is weak to, you've already beaten them, so it's just a matter of waiting until they finally, finally decide to go down. You also get access to a screen clearing move that feels more like a joke. Sure, it wipes out everyone in front of you, but you just fight more of the same identical, equally difficult enemies a couple seconds later. But in spite of how easy the combat is, the game is by no means easy to play, for a variety of reasons. It's just an unpleasant experience. There are no hit sparks, no weight to your blows, and the animations are largely non-indicative. This means you'll be flailing around listlessly, asking yourself whether you're actually hitting the enemies, and waiting patiently for them to play their death animations in confirmation. There's no flow, no purpose, and no soul. It's lifeless. Compounding the dreadful mediocrity, the levels clock in around 10 minutes on average, so it feels endless. Playing this game is a meditative exercise. Your mind needs to be completely empty, but you must simultaneously stay perfectly focused. This isn't quite the desert bus of beat-em-ups or anything, but it's rather telling that such a comparison came to mind at all. Oh, I almost forgot, there are boss fights. The boss fights are comically ineffective. I think I'm going to just end this video with boss battle footage, because that feels appropriate. Mucha Lucha on the GBA is a travesty, but it's an interesting travesty, with almost nothing of value to offer anyone of any demographic. Oh wait, no, hold on. Someone did really like the game. Let's read their review. <clears throat> it's an amazing, awesome game. How could IGN give that nasty rating? It's not one of the best games I've ever a good one played, though, but it's good. Now tell me, IGN, are you sure you played Mucha Lucha, Masqueritas of the Lost Code, or Potato Somki's Crack? From that comment and rating you gave it, I think you've been playing Potato Smoke's Crack.